In a splendid display of support, Cressida Bonas, the former flame of Prince Harry, graced the anti-slavery collective's inaugural winter gala alongside Zara Tyndall and Princess Beatrice. The event, held at Battersea Art Center, saw the 34-year-old donning a glamorous strapless pink and red gown, her iconic blonde tousled lengths adding to the evening's allure. Despite her past relationship with Prince Harry from 2012 to 2014, Cressida has maintained a close connection with the royal family. The gala, a significant moment for the charity founded by Princess Eugenie and Julia de Boinville in 2017, aims to raise awareness of modern slavery as a global epidemic. It encourages collaboration among various stakeholders, including law enforcement agencies, policymakers, journalists, academics, NGOs, companies, individuals, and survivors to combat human trafficking. The A-listers present, including Zara Tyndall and James Blunt, were captured in their glorious attire while enjoying performances by Ed Sheeran, The London Essentials, and Dream, a modern slavery survivor's choir formed during music therapy sessions by the Salvation Army. Princess Eugenie, radiant in a black satin gown with a daring thigh-high split, delivered an impactful speech, highlighting the urgency of addressing the increasing prevalence of human trafficking. The night proved to be a massive success, raising over £1 million, with notable attendees like Natalie Pinkham, Ada Field, Camilla Alves McConaughey, and Gabriella Hurst. Each attendee made a statement with their choice of attire, from Zara Tyndall's floor-length black gown with puff sleeves to Ada Field's navy blue and green dress featuring a plunging V neckline. Natalie Pinkham opted for a dramatic red one-shoulder number with an oversized puffed sleeve. Princess Beatrice, twinning with her sister Eugenie in all-black ensembles, contributed to the evening's elegance. As the event concluded, Princess Eugenie emphasized the collective responsibility to combat modern slavery, urging collaboration among law enforcement agencies, policymakers, journalists, academics, NGOs, companies, individuals, and survivors for a lasting impact.